hello dear students welcome to my youtube channel in this video we will see classification of organic compounds like the video and subscribe the channel for more update first let's see what is organic chemistry when the word it comes organic actually it has been evolved with an organ our organ or we can say our cells it contains a carbon so you might be knowing about the structure of dna and rna very at a molecular level if we see the structures of molecular uh, rna and dna so they contain basically an carbon so the name organic it has been came from a living things which contains the carbon and carbon so organic chemistry it is a branch of an chemistry that studies the structure properties and reactions of organic compounds which contains carbon actually there are a lot many branches of an chemistry like analytical chemistry is one physical chemistry is one inorganic chemistry is one out of that organic chemistry is one and the compounds which deals with the carbon or which has the carbon in organic chemistry we are studying the structure properties and reactions which are related with an carbon containing compounds the range of chemical studies in organic chemistry includes hydrocarbons so hydrocarbon it means that uh, structures which contains carbon and hydrogen in com combination and as well as on that there is having some substitutions so which kind of an substituted element it does has so like oxygen nitrogen sulfur phosphorus all these are actually an inorganic but in association with this elements uh, hydrocarbon it forms an organic compounds like say suppose nitrobenzene like say suppose ethanol so these are organic compounds and there are some uh, halogen which are attached to an carbon hydrocarbons especially so whenever there is an attachment of an carbon and hydrogen with this kind of an elements they are also said to be an uh, organic compounds not uh, only when this compounds or this element they are separated means oxygen nitrogen sulfur so these uh, are said to be an inorganic compound but when they are in association with an carbon and hydrogen they are said to be an organic compounds now we'll see the classification of an organic compounds on the basis of uh, carbon skeleton actually the classification it has been classified there are large number of organic compounds and therefore a proper systematic classification it has been required on the basis of nature of carbon skeleton organic compounds are classified into two main classes so the two main classes they are open chain compounds and closed chain compounds and open chain compounds they are also called acyclic compounds which are not cyclic in nature so that is why acyclic and closed chain compound it means that Uh, they are closed whether it will be an aromatic ring or whether it will be an cycloalkenes uh, so depending on what uh, kind of cycle it is that has been classified but broadly there are two classes that is open chain compound and closed chain compound which are called acyclic as well as an cyclic so all it depends on organic uh, the carbon skeleton of an organic compounds so let us see the classes one by one so there are two main classes as discussed so one class that is uh, cyclic and one class that is acyclic or we can also call them open chain compounds and second class that is closed chain compounds closed chain compounds they are been classified into homocyclic and carbocyclic and next class that is heterocyclic but let's come towards the first class that is acyclic or open chain compounds say suppose this is the structure of methane so this structure of an methane it is not branched right so it is an open chain compound uh, or we can say suppose the structure of an uh, aldehyde this is also an open chain compound 
if say uh, for an example that is methanol so this is also an structure of an open chain compound or a cyclic compound it means that they are a straight chain in nature or they might be branched but they are not cyclic right so they are not cyclic but in case of an cyclic say suppose structure of an uh, we say structure of an benzene for an example of an benzene so this is an hybrid structure of an benzene so hybrid structure of an benzene uh, it is cyclic in nature say suppose the structure of an cyclohexane so it is cyclic in nature so that is why they are being classified as a closed chain compound all the carbons they are intact or all the carbons they are cyclic in nature after that uh, they are been classified into two classes one is homocyclic and second one is an heterocyclic homocyclic it means that all the all the cycle it is often only a carbon which contains only a carbon say suppose like an uh, cyclopropane so cyclopropane it contains fully an carbon so that is why it is said to be an homocyclic means all the chain it is having a carbon say suppose for heterocyclic a ring of an oxyren so oxyren ring it is containing an oxygen in between so that is why it is heterocyclic it is containing other element than a carbon and carbocyclic it means that all the carbons they are cyclic in in the ring again uh, homocyclic or carbocyclic it has been classified into two classes one is alicyclic now don't confuse with this acyclic alicyclic it is different class and second class that is aromatic so alicyclic uh, like uh, compounds like cyclopropane or compounds like cyclobutene or cyclobutene so these kind of an compounds they are been classified into alicyclic and aromatic now aromatic uh, very famous example that is benzene ring so all they you know about an benzene ring so very famous example that is benzene ring again aromatic it has been divided into two classes one is benzonide and second one is non benzonide so what this benzonide and non benzonide it is called or it is said to be when the structure it has a benzene ring right it has a benzene ring that time it is said to be an benzonoid structures and non benzonide means what there are some compounds which which might be aromatic but they are not uh, they uh, they does not contain an aromatic ring like an benzene say suppose example of an uh, non benzonide structure uh, for an example i have drawn over here that is azulin it is not having the property of an benzene it means it is not having the stru this structure is aromatic but uh, it is not having a benzene ring in between so that is why it is said to be a non benzonide now coming towards the next class that is heterocyclic so there are again two classes in case of an heterocyclic that is heteroalicyclic and heteroaromatic so heteroalicyclic it means that compound it contains an heterocycle but that heterocycle it is not aromatic say for an example like uh, oxyren the structure of an oxyren right so oxyren it does not contain an aromatic ring so such kind of an compounds are said to be an heteroalicyclic so don't confuse with acyclic again so it is alicyclic and heteroaromatic say suppose example of an pyridine so pyridine it is also aromatic in nature but it contains a nitrogen as an heteroatom nitrogen it is an heteroatom in uh, aromatic ring so that is why it is it uh, why it is called to be an heteroaromatic so these are the classes of an uh, organic compounds 
Thank you for watching the video. If you are having any doubts, you can comment me in the comment box section. I will surely answer it.